Hey guys, King Red Wolf here, and in this series, I will be building a town with you guys' help. So every every episode in the comments, you guys type what you want to see is built in the town, and I will build it. So I'm also gonna have other stuff, so you guys can make. Let's say I'm making a town hall in this video. So let's say you guys type town hall in the comments, then I would build a town hall, and then I might build some houses or I might build some roads. And in the end, um, the goal will be to have a nice town built for um, for people to play in and just to look around. So yeah, uh, consider subscribing, hitting the like button, and let's get into the video. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is laying out the um, the outline for the base. So what I did, well, so I first thing I did was I took looked up town hall builds from the internet and I found out my favorites and what I wanted to build so then I'm referencing those and building something that I'd like so what I want is to have like two C's on the front and the back with a box in the middle it has pillars up and then so it will have a nice little entrance and then there'll be two floors and so if we wanted to we could add a basement later but I didn't add one in this episode so you might be confused about the bricks, how they don't look like Minecraft bricks. It is not a texture pack. Uh, I'm using mods. So uh, those are from the chisel mod. There are a lot of different mods in this. A lot of them deal with decoration. So the ones that deal with decoration, they're good because it gives me a better assortment of blocks. So I can like these ones for particular, I like them a little bit more because they're bigger. And also you can see in my hot bar that I also have some of the same version of blocks, but they're a little bit broken. So that that can help. Yes, I did also spot that it was not center, which is right here. But so that helped me. Um, so I can now just uh, trade texture and texture is like really good. I think I'll talk about it later, but um, it will just make it look like a more realistic structure. So, because I noticed that in, if I made a massive building out of Minecraft bricks, it would look completely cluttered, completely just everything everywhere. So, I wanted a little more simplistic, bigger uh, one. And so, these ones, if you're looking for them, they're weathered bricks in the chisel mom. So, you take normal bricks and a chisel. You'd right-click on the chisel. It would open up a, um, a um, UI. And then, you'd put the bricks into the um, sec spot. And you would be able to take out any assortment of bricks. So there's a lot of different bricks. If you want to see me use it, because I'm in creative, but in survival you could build this pretty easily. Um, all the mods in here. If you if you think that you might want to use them, uh, I might have a video on how to install mods in the um, in the future. If you want that, leave that in the comments. So I know I already talked about it in the intro. But this series is going to be basically, we build a town together. So basically every time, every time I have an episode come out, you guys are going to help with the episode. So I'm going to be out here, so I'm building the stairs up to it right now. But I'm going to be making the videos and then you guys down in the comments type, hmm, maybe I want him to build this. I want this building in the town. So go down down to the comments, just type that in right now. Also, if you can, like and subscribe. This is my first video, and liking and subscribing is free, so it would help out a lot. Also, it will help bring my content to more, um, more people to see it, so I can grow my channel. So those stairs are the first um, part of the building a snot brick. So now I'll just go around and make it too higher, because I don't want it to be flat on the ground. Because that would look pretty pretty flat, not really super important. I want to have two blocks because that's the size of a player. So it will be pretty pretty big when you're in first person. And, and two blocks and you'll go up. Also, there's one mob in particular that I was really excited about building this. Was the um, uh, something about life mod. I forgot the, the actual life, village life I believe it's called. But it adds um, actual village villagers. Who have more um, more personality, and they all have different opinions of you. You can trade with them, you can talk to them, you can have relationships and stuff. So basically, 
if you wanted to, you could make a life simulator. And what I want to do is in this town, we'll have actual people walking around doing actual things in their lives and not just a bunch of random villagers, um, which I see a lot of people doing. So I'm just finishing up the floor and then I'm going to, not the floor, sorry, the, the outer wall. Right now I'm just testing out a couple of floor patterns, which I think I'll, I'll go for, but I decide not to do brick because that's pretty bad. Like honestly, that'd be just a ton of brick in the building. So then I decide to start working on the pillars. So first thing I do on the pillars is I do something I don't like. So I want to have a little curve onto it, but I go straight for here because that would look pretty good. I only do one, I look back at it, it looks too blocky for me. I break it like when you're building something pretty big you have to be okay if you make a mistake to just delete delete what you just did retry and then work on it later because if you have a build that you don't like and then in the end and you spend a little more time on it you get it right and in the in the end you'll like it a lot more that if you did just got rid of the part you didn't like instead of having this amazing structure and then there's one part that you just don't like and it ruins the structure for you because every time you look at it you see um you see that mistake so i'm just adding floors this is also from the chiseled mob those blocks that i'm putting down right here are to show where the rooms are because when i have the floor you won't be, i won't be able to see that this is not the first floor pattern i chose i chose a different one and then i didn't like it so i broke it all down and then i rebuilt this rebuilt it like this so I like this one a little bit better. It will be used as the floors and the roof for both rooms, but not the ceiling on top of the, the um, no, it will be used for the floor and the ceiling, sorry, and not, but not the roof. It has a woven pattern, so it's very nice. Pretty, pretty easy to use it in anything that you want. Uh, you decide to use spruce because it fits in with the, um, the, the bricks pretty nicely. And I just, liked it so because spruce is my favorite type of minecraft wood if you play minecraft with me ever you'll notice that that every time we come by a spruce biome i will always you know cut down a couple trees even if because i don't like building there but i like the wood type so i'll cut down a couple trees take the saplings and then um take the saplings so i can build my house with them so even even if we don't have a have find come across you know a spruce biome I'll go looking for one. This is just me trying to find out what type of floor I want for the for the exit. This is like outside of the building. This is the thing I go for first. Decide I really don't like it. I uh, try again with quartz instead of marble. I find another another nice you know shape that looks pretty cool. Uh, it's not my favorite, but I I just was didn't focus on it too much and it wasn't that bad. I'm just straightening them out so that the floor is four blocks high and that they're all even now i'm building a li nice little roof on top of the um the exit area so you'll be able to see this is what it's going to be like when it's done it will look a little weird now but this is how i make my roofs pretty much just go around all the places that don't have a block underneath them and then on the next layer go one higher so, breaking the block, creating this. I think I went four high this one, so this will be three high. And then the fourth high, you, you just, you don't, you don't worry about the space in between and you just fill it up completely. So, I had a couple of issues here, but there, this is the fourth high one. And that's how I do it. So, this is what it will look like. Nice little space. This is not a tutorial, by the way. It will help you build it, but it's not a tutorial that will tell you exactly how to build it. You will have to make your own, shape it however you want to, but then you can, you can add your own touch to it. So, next thing I do is I start building the wall from the inside to the outside and the door. The door to get from the inside to the outside. So, the thing I found with this, with this um, door is that I didn't just want to have one block wide because the stairs were three blocks. So I decided to, ha to have three block high door, but there's no door that's three blocks wide. So what I end up deciding to do is use this type of glass. It's also in the chisel mod. That's called bubble glass. I think here it is. 
and it has a very good texture to it and I really liked it and I ended up using it for all it, all the um, glass in the building. I thought I was going to replace it later but I just really liked it and so now I'm just going to be building up the wall. So when you do this it will be very boring you know it doesn't take super long for this building. This part took me only about 5 minutes 10 minutes so it didn't take super super long but it was just placing blocks and fixing it. And also, I think this is the first time that I texture my wall because I don't want it just to be like a blank full of the same thing everywhere. So I ended up using a little bit of um, magic where I just, you know, randomly through it, I break a couple of blocks randomly here and there in a pattern that's not like a spe specified pattern. So it's as I said, random, but you can do that and then fill in all the holes with your other variant. So I used broken weathered bricks using the chisel mod. And so that leaves me with, left me with a very nice um, brick building that looks like it's been around for maybe 10 or 12 years, which was the look I'm going for, for this, um, with this um, building. So I don't want it to be brand new because that's, just gonna have a bunch of the same block and I don't want it to be you know too too just full of random blocks that will go everywhere too broken down too like ranchacked you know so I, I, I found 10 10 12 was a pretty good spot for me and I just went through it broke my couple of blocks and that's how I did it so right here you'll see me just breaking blocks and I place them but that's, you can do it on a small level, or you can do what I'm doing now, where I just go through, boom, 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 breaking all these blocks. You see, there's no pattern to it. I'm just breaking blocks however I see fit, and then filling them in with the other variant, which is the broken blocks. And you'll, as you'll see, it'll just make it a little bit better, a lot comes to life a lot more. And I'll have this for all the bricks on the um, in the building. So not all the bricks will be broken, but all of them will have be textured so it makes it very nice looking in my opinion if you don't like it well it's just my opinion and for building tips you can just leave your building tips in the comment because I'll, I'll i always appreciate it it'll be cool to learn how you guys build and how i can make my um buildings better so that's just me finishing off the the wall Okay, so now I'm done with the wall. You can kind of see a little bit more variation to it. So I think it looks a lot better. And that's how I'm going to do it on a lot of my builds. Or you're to have a lot of variation, except for more modern builds. So now we have the front and the side. Next, I'm going to build the walls between all the rooms where the white lines are. And in the rooms, the, the Bottom floor are going to be um, two different, what's called, meeting rooms. Because in a town hall, people like to have town meetings. People do their jobs there. They need to have meetings and stuff. So we're having two meeting halls in the um, town hall on the bottom. And also this little room in the back, which is also a C, is a, um elevator. So I'm going to build a elevator in there. Which I'm kind of disappointed because I chose a wrong version to get all the mods in here. So I got all the mods in here, but I also made it so that there wasn't water elevators in the game yet. Or it was just broken on this world for some reason. But it made it so that I couldn't have water elevators, so I just had water that would let me go swim up and down. But wasn't that bad. Pretty good. I got some carpet here from the um, chisel mod also. A lot of the things are from the chisel mod, and then I go to Mr. Crayfish furniture mod for, for interior decorating. But a lot of the this mod, so come in, add some red, and then I built this cross pattern, which looks pretty cool. When you're inside it, you can walk, you can go to every, every side. It's starting to come together. Like in my mind, I can kind of picture it. You know, the box, two stories. I haven't added windows yet, but 
it looks pretty good on, for my opinion. Now I'm adding the windows. What you guys don't see here is on the other side, I made a mistake and it is one block shorter than the other one. So I had to tear down that entire wall and then rebuild it so that it would be even with the other and the windows would be equally spaced. Next I'm adding these frames. Also I cut out a part where I did some experimenting to see if I could have any make it look a little bit better but since they're slabs it didn't really go well and so I just left it as this. I think it's pretty cool. If you have any other ideas leave them in the comments. Using the bubble glass again and then over here I want to have a bigger window so I looked at it maybe two from the side to decide to go two from the side a bigger window fill it with glass panes that's just how I do it do things so I just look at something see if it's good see if it's bad and then I make a decision based on what I think like I don't care what other people think unless it's like a multiplayer world or I'm building the world for someone else but right now until you guys start typing the comments what you guys want if you want like a a school or, or a hospital or something I'm just gonna do what I like right now uh, so I'm building a meeting room here I thought it kind of looked like plastic tables you'd get at like a um, you find at like a um, barbecue or something but it was pretty good now on to the second floor building it up it's going super fast because it, it took me a long time to do this because I also um, had to add the texture to it um, and all this floor here that's going to be the floor for the other one and the ceiling for this floor. So, you might ask me, how's it dark? I was playing around with the light bulbs in this clip. It's hard to see because it's going so fast. But I found that to use light bulbs in Mr. Crayfish Furniture Pack, the, the um, light switch doesn't work. You actually have to hit the light switch, the light bulb with a hammer to make it work. So, did that, turned it on. You don't need the light switch at all. I then filled up all the rooms with these light bulbs and then smashed them with hammers because according to Mr. Crayfish's mod, to turn on lights, you smash them with hammers. So then I built the walls for this side, for the second floor. I keep saying side, but it's a floor, um, the second floor. And then I'm going to texture it in the same one. I kept finding it a little annoying having to reset the the weather and the time constantly and I've done slash set uh, slash game rule weather false weather cycle false and it didn't really work which is strange and also did it with daylight cycle but it's okay I could type it relatively quickly didn't take that much time started to add the the windows in first which you might be wondering questioning why is just so I could have it from the outside look pretty even I added some more of the um the uh, white I don't know what they're called but they're on almost every every house's thing they're like window sills window ledges or something but marking out where the um where the walls are gonna be the thing is with this house this not a house it's this area one of them is gonna be a the mayor's bedroom because I decided hmm that's interesting and the other one I didn't know what to make it so if you leave it in the comment on the next episode I will um, put that in the in this this room. So maybe like a treasury or some offices for the people, but who work there. But I don't know what what to put there. So you guys, it's up to you. Um, I decided to, to put the bed in here. It actually works. I tested that out. Uh, going through my inventory, I found a nice modern TV stand. It looked like a good bedside stand. So I put them up. I found a nice lamp, which was pretty good. Also, you could hold stuff in the in the um in the TV stand, which I didn't know. It's pretty cool. You also need to smash the lamp with hammers to turn them on. I brought back the red carpet from from um downstairs to tie it together with downstairs. I also later put red carpet in the main room so that it kind of has the same feel as in one building instead of just. Two different floors with two, completely two different things. I found a red cat bed, which looks more like a dog bed to me because I have a dog. So I was wondering, hmm, why is that a cat bed? There's also a little black cat uh, plushy thing, which looks like a cat. So I kind of liked it. I put it down, 
and then I went full on. I found a cap bowl. I put the cap bowl down, and so now there's like a little, little um, cat and thing. I found a Christmas tree. Didn't have any reason to put it down. It's not near Christmas. I decided to put it down. I was like, hmm, the um, mayor probably has a lot of paperwork. I put down a desk and some drawers so he could file his papers from his own room. So I think this is my favorite room of the whole thing. It's very lively compared to the other rooms. And it, it creates like the most best, the best feeling. So if, if there's any room so far that I like to work in or live in, this would be it. Adding a white couch down. All the, all the seats in Mr. Crayfish's mod you can sit in. And also there's another mod which makes you see in it, sit in it. I added a chair by the desk. And then I started doing this. This was a both a mistake, which I turned into a good thing. But I didn't want my ceiling to be just a bunch of slabs. So I filled them up with blocks like this. It would make sense that I would use other slabs, but didn't I didn't didn't think of that. Actually, no, it wouldn't make sense. That wouldn't work anyway. But I have this down. And so I use slabs to make my roofs because it makes it more slope shape instead of just a massive just triangle on top of it. And then some more lights in. So that top makes it so that it looks flat. But when it comes up, it's a step. So there'll be a little bit of wood showing. And I could break down all the wood around the edges and replace it with the um, white bricks that I decided to use. But I decided, hmm, why not? Put, make that a part of the design and have like a strip of wood going around the outside on the ceiling also these white bricks are really really cool so they're part of mick decorated mod and so mick decorations mod and so it's really cool because they they're well white so i can use them in a lot of different structures different buildings and there's different colored bricks so you can have them in pretty much any building that you want so it was really cool because Normally, you don't have white bricks in the no Noah Minecraft, so it was just a different look. There's the white strip going around it. That's what it kind of looks like right now. And I was going to go back and be like, hey, look, I'm done. Very good. But then I realized, hmm, I then added windows to the top section of the, of the house. So then I go through and I add all the windows in fairly quickly. And now for the interior decoration of the lobbies. This one I saved for last. I didn't want to have too much stuff in here. So I just had um, these ones. Those are Mick Crayfish's, um, uh, I don't know what they're called, but they're like leaf blocks. And so you can do this in vanilla or you can do it in modded where you take leaf blocks like this and stack them on top of each other too high. And you might be wondering why they're floating, why are they floating? Well, what I used underneath, you can use a um, composter. And it makes a really cool a really cool effect of a small tree inside of a pot so there and there i do all the other ones but i'll just see this one you also can put a you can also if you want to you can compost a couple of food in it to make it look like it's full of soil except the problem is after a while that soil will turn into bone meal so you have to replace it every once in a while i add the the um the uh, carpet to the second floor and then I go through my doors first thing I do is I find a door that I like the shape of I want and I go oak I go oak just because that's the basic one that's the first one I clicked didn't like it didn't really fit with the um with the rest of the build I go back I'm like spruce because spruce fits in with the rest of the build it was a little different spruce it was a little more um brightly colored a little orangier and so I decided to go dark oak dark oak fat fit a little bit better me just shoveling around with what side the door wants to be on. And then I went and I filled everything up with um, dark oak doors. So it was a really, this this build was really um, difficult. It took me about an hour and a half to build it. It looked pretty nice. This is me just adding in the windows now. But it looked pretty nice. Doors are in, windows are in. You could actually live in here if you wanted to because... Um, of the uh, doors I did it in a super flat world so that I could build the rest of the town in pretty easily But you could do it in survival on on normal world and it would look pretty cool if you're building a town in your world So yeah This is the last part just adding windows into the room. I found out I missed a block which was Not that not that good last window here I'm just a little excited right now because I spent so long working on it and it's actually completed so I sit down in the chair, 
And then, yeah, so thank you for watching. Consider liking and subscribing. Write your comment ideas for the next building down in the comments. And also, write your comments for what I want that last room to be. So, thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoy, you know, you know the deal. King Red Wolf, out.